Do you want to know how to install a new hard drive into your PlayStation 4? It's very easy and can be done in about 10 to 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get everything together that we need. The first thing we'll need is a 1 gigabyte flash drive and it's going to have to be formatted on the computer. The next thing we will need is a screwdriver about that size. Pretty standard size, I think most screwdrivers will do. The next is our new hard drive and this one is going to have to be a standard laptop hard drive. 2.5 millimeters and it's going to have to be 2 terabytes or less. Otherwise it will be too big and it won't fit into your PlayStation 4. Also if you're looking into hard drives, you do have the option of connecting it through USB for an external hard drive which will allow you to those larger storage capacities. Okay so now I'm over at my computer. We have to go online to get the download for our PlayStation 4 update. So let's go ahead and do that now. Go over to Google and type in PS4 update download and this will give you a good link right here the latest version 6.20 go ahead and click on that first one open it up I'll bring you to this page this will be the system software update page do not click on this first link right here the download update link do not click on that we're not downloading the update we're initializing our PS4 this is going to be from scratch we're doing a new installation of the system software and we're going to want to do it like this let's go ahead and read through this we will need a usb stick of 1.1 gigabytes of free space we will need to format this which we will do right now once we do that we will need a ps4 folder and inside that ps4 folder we need an update folder and then we will need to download this link right here click start to download I'm going to go ahead and start my download right now because it will take about two or three minutes. And let's plug in my thumbstick now and format it. So my thumbstick opened up. Let's go ahead and go to my, st my thumbstick, which is called Crapstick. Uh, long story. Go ahead and click right on that and go up to Format right here. Click on that and leave it at fat32 by default and go ahead and click start and i can go ahead and rename it here just to stick and go ahead and press ok this is just saying everything on that is going to be deleted and is going to start out new okay so everything is going to be deleted on your thumbstick go ahead and press that it'll take about three or four or five seconds here to format everything all right let's go back to file explorer open up our usb thumbstick right here and get a new folder called ps4 then inside that folder let's go ahead and make an update folder all capital letters update so we have that now our file is well mine is already done because i downloaded it ahead of time and it is the psp update dot pup it has to be exactly like that or it won't work if there's a one or a two or a three after it it won't work so let's go ahead and grab this update from our downloads folder and click and drop and drag it to our usb stick ps4 folder and into the update section and it'll take about two or three minutes to go ahead and copy over this is about a one gigabyte file So that is downloaded. Let's go ahead and verify PS4 update, PSP update.pup. Excellent. Taking the cover off the PlayStation is extremely easy. All you need to do is apply a little bit of pressure and push the opposite way here of the PlayStation. And that should just come out. And then you kind of just lift it up on the side here and it will pop out. So, I mean, there's really nothing to this. This is just a plastic shell. You can go ahead and push that out to the outside here. And this is where we will need a screwdriver for this uh, screw right here. And this one will just come out really easy. I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. Hopefully it doesn't roll away. Then the hard drive itself will just come out. You just press this little hook right here. 
you know, slide out real quick. Then uh, once you open this up, you'll notice there's four screws right here, right here, then two on the back side. So four of them total. You're going to want to head, go ahead and unscrew all those right now. All right, so once that's out, this should just slide on out. I'm going to go ahead and push that to the side. Take out our new hard drive. And then put this into the frame, just like the other one was in before. And then you're going to want to line up the holes on the side here to put your screws in. So let's go ahead and put the screws back in now then it would be much easier doing it on the ground instead of holding it up like this. Alright, so I have my new hard drive in, my old one sitting to the side. Let's go ahead and slide this back in, and it should go in relatively easy. All right, so when in easy, let's go ahead and put this screw back on and not forget it to the side. Screw that one back in and then put the cover back on and we will start my PlayStation back up again and we will plug in that USB thumbstick that we have sitting around with the latest version of the PlayStation operating system on it. So that's in. Going to go ahead and place my thumbstick in. And let's jump back over to my computer. Alright, we are now on this step. Turn off the PS4 completely. Check that the power indicator is not on and is not lit. If the power indicator is lit up in orange, press the power button on the PlayStation 4 system for at least 7 seconds until the system beats a second time. Now, I already have it off. Let's go ahead and connect that. So I held my PlayStation power button down for 7 seconds, it beeped a second time, and it started it up in safe mode. And I went ahead and clicked on initialize PS4, I went over to OK, and started up the process for installing the new operating system. After a short loading period, this will pop up, the PS4 will be initialized, all users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Go ahead and select yes and continue on the process. Your PlayStation will then go through a series of restarting and updating cycles numerous times until it is finally completed. Don't be concerned during this period, it may take about 10 minutes total to complete. When this process gets done, your PlayStation will restart for a final time and then the PlayStation will start like it was brand new, just out of the box from the store. So all the information you had saved on your PlayStation 4 will no longer be there and you will have to update all the credentials in your system including the time, your internet password, uh, any kind of special system settings you had in there before and you will have to log in to PlayStation Network once again by going to account management and logging in. Hopefully you remember your email and password to log into the PlayStation Network because it will ask you here. So installing a new hard drive on your PlayStation 4 console isn't all that difficult. It takes about 15 minutes of time, a screwdriver, and a large enough USB flash drive. This is Tim from Your Six Studios. I hope you check out some of my other videos I have on my channel right here. And once again, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't, subscribe down below.